Hey guys, Anthony 4 before diesel We're going to have a few videos, a series coming up with different scan gauges, whether it's uh, something small like what we've got sitting here um, on your dash to monitor a few things and be able to check the DTCs, clear DTCs and assist yourself when you're out travelling and you get an engine light on. Uh, we're going to include things like here where we've got uh, some, uh, you can see we've got some PID codes that you uh, input into these scan gauges to get the readings you want. So we'll just quickly go through. This is a scan gauge, right? So what I've done purposely is I've waited till a little bit later. You can see I've just got the parkers turned on. It's uh, getting dark around about this time. Just so you can see what it looks like at night time. This is the scan gauge mounted here. So this is not the standard part of the dashboard. Just wanted to show you because some people are curious as to, you know, whether it's too bright or not bright. It's pretty good actually, you know, day or night. I can actually turn the lights off for you, show you that's all a bit brighter now, but so you can sort of see that a bit different, I suppose. But anyway, you can clearly see what we've got up on our display is 48 degrees. That's the coolant water temperature, CWT. That's Celsius, 48 degrees water temperature, coolant temp, whatever you want to call it. The load, you know, we talk about the load on the injector diagnostic videos. The load's a good one to keep an eye on. Not that you need to worry about it on a new car, but just thought I'd put it up there and show you. That's one of the common ones you should have if you've got an older vehicle. Then you, that's sort of one of the main readings to help you monitor your injectors, to be quite honest. People are worried about feedback values. Individual feedback values are important, but uh, the load is probably one of the key single it's like you know it's like a fuel gauge almost but anyway we're not talking about diagnostics in this video on the bottom left we've got atf automatic transmission fluid temperature that's correct that's what we got in there out of the box these scan gauges right they plug in they work straight away it's plug and play pretty easy we've got some other videos on that we've got a we've actually got a playlist there it's not called scan gauge but i think it's called might be called scan tools or diagnostic trouble codes this sort of thing stuff like that so um check that out if you need more info we've got our battery voltage just sitting there as well so that's obviously going to be a very accurate voltage and there's a number of things you can put up but what i wanted to show you in this video is you can just um, program um, whatever so for example this one here that i've just put in now there's a whole heap of different what we call pids pid codes right and um Basically, there's stacks of different ones and for different transmission fluids or DPF percentages or EGTs. Yes, these are the sort of things you can program in if you can get those PIDs. You can get them off the scan gauge website. So let's just go to the phone here and have a quick look. So you can see at the top there, scangauge.com.au, tied to X gauges, right? So each edge gauge, because this is a four program parameter screens, blah, 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 right? User manual. You can watch, read the user manual or you can keep watching. I'm going to show you how to do it just quickly. It's really simple. The hardest part for me is going to be trying to hold the phone with one hand and then use two hands to make the adjustments. But it's so easy and you can go back in and edit. Uh, it's actually really straightforward. So the reason we've gone back towards these, we've got one here. We're going to try it out for the transmission temperature. But we really want to monitor the transmission temperatures so we'll see how we go if we're happy with it before long you'll see a scan gauge in each of our vehicles so that we can monitor that and we're going to come up with some other PID codes as much as possible to monitor EGTs to monitor um, DPF percentages and stuff like that there's a few readings you can read that I'm not really interested in like torque converter temperatures you know they don't excite me if you know what i mean now if you transmissions only got a torque converter temperature and that's it then that's the one you watch but note that when it's slipping it'll go up quickly and as soon as you back off it'll go down quickly what we want all that we're interested in is that pan temperature that pool of oil those liters and liters of oil what is that temperature okay not what's this small amount of oil up here in this particular area getting really hot no that's not what we're interested in we just want so this one's the pan so as it says here, we'll just take a quick look again. We'll go through those numbers for people that have got a 2021 or 22. The, since we call it the remap, the different transmission software, the codes change. That's right, the old codes don't work. So what I do with my scan gauge, what I'll do, I'll go and program every code I can find in there and name it, whatever. It doesn't matter if you've got 10 called ATF because what you do, you scan through, and I'll give you an idea, right? You, you go through like this, you go, you press this, and it goes to DPF. What does that mean about the DPF? Don't worry, that's another video. EGT, why is it not, oh, okay, there's a number there. Why is it 1278? Well, it's probably Fahrenheit. It's probably a, you know, a US code or something like that. 
torque converter. Okay, why does it not do anything? Because I've programmed a PID and it doesn't work on this vehicle. ATF, why is it not doing anything? It doesn't matter. So you just go through till you find the one that you want, or you can change the name of it. You can name it whatever you like. So there's a whole, all four of these buttons, they do the same thing. We're just gonna get back to um, that, what was it? Um, ATF, that's the 127. We know that's about right. Yeah, there might have been a torque converter one there that works. Don't worry about that. Like I said, we might look at that in some videos driving. Um, but what I'd like to do now, so the code, let's have a look at the code here, right? So for the people that have got those later Prados, probably work in the Hilux as well. What does it say here? It says Toyota 2021, so probably Prado or Hilux, my guess. So you've got four numbers to input, TXD, RF, RXF, RXD, MTH, and then you've got to name it if I remember correctly, blah, 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 and it's got some notes there, right? So don't worry about B, whatever. So they're not telling you here what to name it, right? So this is what we're gonna do now. I'll put that phone down. We'll go in here. Now it's really simple, but what I'm gonna do it's not going to look as good, but I'm going to stop for a minute and turn the light on so you can see what's going on. See what I mean? You're going to get all this reflection and whatever, right? But we'll, we'll get it in a position, hopefully. There we go. Look at that, see? So normally you do this with two hands, and trust, it's a little bit... Don't do it when the kids are in, you've got distraction. You need to go to a quiet place right now. Right, guess what? I'm parked out in the dark, sitting in the car. We've got the engine running at the moment. And um, again, I'm dedicating some time to help you... Um, see how to do this without having to worry about reading the book. So what you do first is to scroll through all your different gauges you just use the white buttons but when you want to do something extra it's pretty straight well it's a red button. You've got lots of options here right in this case we're going to press more and then you're going to press more again and then the mode button I just press the arrow to the right then it says X gauge you press edit right then you've got about 24 X gauges so it goes six seven eight there's nothing programmed in any of these right goes all the way up to, okay, something's TFC, whatever it is, transition fluid, whatever it is anyway, I don't know. Uh, 20, 21 average for the economy. There's a fuel economy thing. As I said before, it, it's a guide. It's not really bang spot on sort of thing. So there's 22, there's 23, there's 24, and then back to zero, which is some of the ones that I've programmed already, right? There's some different ones there. They're not in this video. The one we're talking about in this video, is well i think it must have been number four or five let's go back there again i might stuff this up again but here we go because it was i'm gonna go with it's that one right so then we go i need to swap hands here we go so you go you normally have two hands you'd press edit and there's your code right and you if you have a look at that code that i showed you, you probably find that's it and all you do to change it see the underscores on zero there you just press the plus or minus and then you use the arrow over here this one over here to move across to the next digit so really easy and when you get to the end like this you just press ok and then same thing you can use the arrows up and down to get whatever you want there to get it right and then the then you can go if it's right your arrow across to whatever digit you want to change so if you've already done one and it doesn't work and you've got a different code you can just go in and edit so you can edit any time press ok 3008 is the rxd tells you at the bottom see the rxd there then uh you know you can press ok because we know that's right um, MTH, yeah, we can just press, you know, you can, same thing, all right, plus minus over here, the, these two buttons for the plus or minus, and the arrow to go to the next one, right, whatever, and then you press OK, and then whatever you want to name it, same thing, plus or minus, it's ATF, so we're just going to press OK, because it's right, I'm going to press save, and then I just want to exit, and I'm just going to go press the red button, because I like that, and then I'm going to press gauge, because gauge, there you gauge is, right, so, how easy is that, right? So at the moment, the car's been sitting here a little while, not long, a few minutes, and you can see the coolant temperature is 56 degrees. Um, the automatic transmission fluid is 30 degrees. The battery, yeah, you know, 13.7, 13.8 volts, and the load's on eight or nine, which is really low. Smaller engine, very awesome condition, everything there, so you're gonna have a lower load value. But we're not gonna talk about that too much in this video. This is more about just letting you know and the light went off because the battery's low and all that sort of thing. That's what happens. Just wanted to show you this is how to program the scan gauge and giving you one of the codes for the later products. So tick two boxes. If you like that, smash that like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. We're going to have more of this sort of stuff on the scan gauges coming your way soon. And we're going to be testing out a few different scan tools as well. There could be something available for a few hundred bucks that does... Um, 
injector compensation codes and pilot learn and stuff like that so we've got a few different supplies we've got things off just to sort of test them out see if they're easy to use and um, we'll be coming back to you to let you know which one is the easiest to use which one's the cheapest and that sort of thing so uh, hopefully you like that catch on the next video and check out that playlist there's some old videos there we change our mind a lot of things on things like okay to be honest i would have liked to have just something to plug in in the app on the phone and the transmission temperature there that's good but then there's advantages of a unit like this and i find myself sometimes when i want to see data i just want it there and that's the good thing about this you look at this right you're driving along you know blah 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 blah, blah. you're not even looking at it it's not in the way of anything in the Prada here and you want to have a look it's there you want to know the coolant temperature you're out in the hot you're out in the dunes you're out in the sand you're giving a hard time you want to know what your coolant temp is and what your transmission fluid temp is without mucking around well there it is right and it's perfectly programmable these things have been around for years they are very reliable i've said in other videos they sort of look a bit antique square not the most ideal looking thing but they're not too bad and you know you got to make a choice and you know what my choice is i wanted one in the vehicle so here it is Bada bing, catch you on the next video. Hope you liked it. See ya.